Hello, what's up? Happy day. I'm going to say happy day because you may be listening to this on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. What if somebody's listening to it in the evening? Well, it is called After Dark. Happy night. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy <laughs> happiness. Uh, this is Laura Kane After Dark. I don't know. I was trying to start off positively and a positive note and vibe. Well, that went well. I know it didn't. <laughs> That's okay. And again, we don't edit anything out, so this is what you get. (laughs) Um, This is Eric Rimmer. Hello. We've known each other. 24 hours. (laughs) Can you imagine? She's an escort. I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a big spender. I am. (laughs) Top dollar for you. (laughs) Top dollar. Top dollar. Um, Okay, and we have producer Brian. $50. $50. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Brian. I'd do a lot for 50 For fi- <laughs> for 50 mm-hmm. God, you two are cheap. A little over 50 I might produce a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to 60 maybe a couple bucks above $60. <laughs> um, are you serious about that? No. That you wouldn't do a lot for, a fi- for $50? I mean, the, the final... Give me your definition of a lot, and I'll tell you what I do for 50 or not. <laughs> okay. For $50... Would you lick the sidewalk? Like just one time? Mm-hmm. Just a lick? Yeah. Yeah. 50 bucks? Uh, sure. A, a public sidewalk, not just sure. like a suburb sidewalk. Sure. Okay. I get to choose which section, but not like I'm not going to lick like crap off the sidewalk. Right. But. Well, yes, obviously. Just sure. the pavement. I mean, the, the cement. Screw it. Wow. Okay. You weren't kidding. I'm not going to do that. I don't want mm-hmm. you to do that. Okay. I'm not going to give you $50 do- to do that. Mm. Would you do it for 20? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get him down because I really want to see that happen. If even 50 is a little low because it's like- It is low. If it's like, is it enough money to do anything? Like, is it worth doing anything? Because think of the, what lives on cement from like uh, germs and stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything for 20 bucks. You know what? It's not that much money. It's not. It doesn't get you very much anymore. If someone was like, stand, if you stand up right now, I'll give you 20 bucks, I'd probably be like, eh. <laughs> okay. Bucks. There's a concert that you are eh, you would never buy tickets to, but somebody yeah. invites you to the concert. You kind of don't want to go, but they Who say- Who is it? Matchbox 20. Would you hmm. go for $20? I, if, I, if, if I they, wasn't paying for the tickets, I'd go for free. Oh, okay. Um, Goo Goo Dolls. Oh, I yeah. Oh, I love I them. love the Goo Goo Dolls. What? What? You don't? Um, God. I'm not supposed to say that I don't, but I don't prefer the Goo Goo Dolls. Great. They're not my favorite. Next time I talk Realize. to them, I'm going to tell them what you said. I've yeah. met them. Next time we... Uh, screw you. They're oh, nice bye. people. Yeah. She under... Yeah. She... You guys are the worst. Our name dropping? Yeah, and you underappreciate it too. I love them. You know... Like, yeah, I met the Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. I'm like... Well, again, the these worst. meetings were very brief. Uh, you Did know, you get a picture? I've, I think I do. Yes. I Somewhere do. I have then a... It, then it counts. <laughs> then I was with them for more than one minute. Whatever. I <laughs> was with them for more than one minute. What's wrong with the show? All right. We have a party coming up in we one do. week. One week from now, we're going to be at Urban Mo's. We're going to be live on the stage. It's our four-year podcast anniversary party. You've heard us talk about it. Are you still going to wear your pasties? The ones I have on right now? The ones with the tassels. Oh, those? Yeah. No. Oh. I have something sequency though, that I'm going to wear. Oh. Possibly. And maybe white boots and don't get mad. God, leopard damn print. white I'm boots. Not, I was going to get something leopard print. I'd walk No. Out. I really was. I would leave I won't go. In fact, show. I may have ordered something. I won't go. I'm sick. But I sick didn't you guys. <laughs> think it fit the party. No. I just wanted to make you guys angry. That's all. God. You should dress like a dude. That'd be funny. I, I have it in my writer. No leopard within my eyesight. So, no. Your writer is uh, You must be having a seizure right now. Nil God, I'm going to flip out. <laughs> okay, so uh, $20. LauraCaneAfterDark.com is where you get the tickets or UrbanMose.com. Okay, so we have a woman that we met how long ago? Maybe like two months ago. Mm-hmm. 
we went to Puesto and met Megan Root from Milestone oh, Properties. Oh, yes, we did. She reached out to us and she says, you know what? I would love to be on your podcast because I really feel like your listeners are people that I want to work with. Megan Root is not just a real estate agent. She's a broker. She is everything you need when you are thinking about buying a house here in San Diego. Now, your dream is not dead because Megan has lots of ideas and lots of creative ways to get you financed to buy a home. In fact, she has the following credentials. Yes, she does. She's an MRP, military relocation professional, an FTBS, first time buyer specialist, and a CMA, not the country music awards winner, but a certified (laughs) mortgage advisor. She will hold your hand the whole way through. She has a plan. Even if it takes a year, even if it takes two, she's going to stick with you. Her motto is Milestone Properties, helping California plant roots for almost 30 years. That's right. If you would like to call or text her, her number is 619-654-6980. And you can email her at Megan, M-E-G-A-N, at milestonepropertiesca.com. And her info is on our website, lauracaneafterdark.com. Now, La Jolla Cosmetic oh, Medical, oh. Uh, uh, Cosmetic Surgery Center mm, and Medical Spa. It's starting to get all tingly. I know. They are now part of our podcast. And guess mm-hmm. what? For our party, they are giving us to give away a Morpheus 8 treatment, which is the top of the top of laser tightening treatments. It's worth $1,500 and we get to give it away at our party. I might just take it. Here's some more about La Jolla <laughs> Cosmetic. You can. You can. We are so <laughs> thrilled to welcome our favorite place ever, La Jolla, La Jolla Cosmetic, Cosmetic Surgery, Surgery Center, Center and Med Spa to the podcast. I've been seeing the doctors and injectors and estheticians there for many years, and I can't stop raving about their incredible service. I've been so happy with my results. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center and Med Spa offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a more natural, rejuvenated appearance. That's what I love. Thousands of five-star reviews, flexible payment plans, free consultations. Go to GlamFam.com for reviews, before and after photos, and their special treatment planner. That's That's GlamFam.com. Thank you guys so much, so much for joining the podcast. It just, I just can't say enough good things. It tickles our fancies. About that place. Okay, (laughs) so now it's time for my host chat. I have two small things. Okay, so I'm going to make it into my full host shot. Great. Somebody, you want, some, you want some music for the production value? Um, do you have any like? This is fine. No. <laughs> do you have anything spooky? I think I erased the spooky music. Play. Ooh, no, don't play that. Sounds. Play that first thing. That's fine. There we go. Oh, I like it. I feel oh. like I'm at Urban Mo's right now. By the way, did you get the? Uh, video that I sent you on Instagram. He sends me like eight videos a day on Instagram <laughs> and I don't have time to watch of all what? these vid- like of, like, of people like accidentally sneezing and then pooping all over um, <laughs> an elevator <laughs> like somebody that says like the butthole whisper and he's skating down <laughs> Venice Boulevard or something. I'm like it's Eric. Awesome. Did you did it's you always not- about penises or <laughs> something with like poop and I sometimes I just I just can't. Sometimes you, I just can't. Did you not watch the one I? <laughs> Which one? The butthole whisper. No. What one? That one you, was weird. You just keep talking and I'll. All right, get it up. Get it up. Oh my god! Great. Awesome. Okay, so somebody heard me talking about my new fascination for all things aliens and ufps they're called now uaps oh uaps sorry i don't even know okay, wrong. <laughs> i know i'm still learning that's why i'm still learning i'm in i'm newly into this you know what it means um unidentified <laughs> objects uops nope. AP. this one Un- hold on now oh well what happened wait what happened what do you think happened Someone threw up? Yes. Oh, in a helmet. <laughs> that was clear. <laughs> Not something you need to see. Wait, or show me, me that. Show me that. I guess. Go show your boy while I go Sweet. talk about this. Talk, all right. UAP, Unidentified <laughs> Aerial Phenomenon. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's what they're called now, right? Anyway, yeah. they were originally UFOs, of course. So somebody DM'd me and said, 
you need because we were talking about Fire in the Sky, that scary oh, yeah. that was UFO that, movie, yeah, that was which is based on a true story. Well, based um, on a real account from six people. Four, six people. Six. Hmm. Um, Brian, <laughs> the DM was sent to me, and it said, "Listen to a podcast called." Wait, where is it? Where is it? It's called High Strange. Oh and God. episode two is called Travis Walton. Yeah. That was the dude who was sucked up into the... Supposedly. Yes. But this is his account. And his, interviewing him, um, he sounded... There's not one part of me that thinks this guy is telling a lie. Um, thinks uh, it was asleep. Um, was was accidentally drugged or whatever people are thinking this person is making all this stuff up. He sounds so legitimate and he's old now. He's like in his 70s. Yeah, maybe. Um, but there were, it was him and I think five other guys and they all witnessed him being, they all witnessed the craft. They all witnessed the light. Travis is the one that got out of the vehicle when it was at night, it was in the woods he ran toward the spaceship and they're like, no, get back in the car. Oh my God. And they saw something zap him, boom, off his feet and onto the ground. And then they took off because they got scared. And then they went, wait, we can't leave Travis. They came back. He was gone. And so was the craft. And yep. they saw something zip up in the sky. Why would six people make this up? For notoriety. Yeah, for sure. But this guy is... I want you to listen to it. I think I it's have, really. I have heard have? his account from his mouth. I have, yeah, I've listened to interviews with him. And what is your opinion? Yeah, maybe someone's someone's test. You know, someone just giving their testimony, especially with no stakes, is not that compelling to me. If it's true, that's interesting. But that's not that's not evidence of anything. That's just saying, oh, if it's true, then it is interesting, for, but that's not proving anything. The things he's saying, how yeah. can one make that up? It's um, how do we make anything up? Some great movies out there. How do you, <sighs> how does someone think of this? If you want, there are, because there are a lot of great testimonies out there that sound very convincing, but the, the info in them is just kind of, what the hell? Like, really? If you want someone crazy, look up Bob Lazar. He's oh, I like, love Bob Lazar. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love everything Bob Lazar says. He supposedly worked at Area 51. Oh, yeah, I know. At the it, propulsion. Right yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway. He, he, yes, and he has a very interesting story. <laughs> he that does. sounds a little, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. It's a little much. Can I give you my theory? Yeah. I feel like the government is slowly, knows that there are aliens. We have some. We have some craft. Well, yeah, the testimony would suggest that they've known for a long time. Okay. That now things are being declassified little by little. That they're slowly, for so the public won't freak out. That's a good theory. Slowly wow, releasing. Wow, you really jumped right into this. It, I sure did, didn't I? I? I have been following it, too. It's interesting. I was, I was, a, I was a, a huge alien skeptic. Oh, yeah, really? Flat out denier. And now, what are you? Um, curious. Okay, I like it. Um. I think it's likely that there's probably something. It's. I feel like there's too much to say that there's nothing, but okay. I don't know about all these abductions and stuff. Maybe that's still too far for me to... We'll see what comes Bob out. Bob Lazar is way out there for me. Maybe. You know what? I, I hope he's telling the truth. He's not the only person that's given like whistleblower info like that, but eh, we'll see. Okay, but it's, it's so interesting. interesting, yeah. It, he, had, he tells a great story. Yeah, he regardless. sure does. He sure does. And one quick thing. I know we kind of touched on this a couple podcasts ago about Barbie. Now, women are using Barbie to uh, fet out boyfriends. If a guy says he's unwilling to see Barbie or doesn't get Barbie, bye, Felicia. Uh, if a guy want, is willing to see the movie, which Brian was. Yeah, enjoyed it. Enjoys it understands the message which i know you did you thought it was a little pe a little i think over actually, the top but i think the problem is that you can read it a couple different ways i think that's the fault of the writing i don't think the writing's that good okay but entertaining though but you are a man who who was willing to see it so therefore you sure. are bo boyfriend material i'd watch it again too that was good see oh my gosh what a catch well this i don't, guy I don't over think here? that should be the standard mm -hmm. bye felicia not boyfriend material. I think if you're using the Barbie movie 
to women are now some are let me just say i think if that's the criteria then men should be able to reject women if they haven't seen star wars or something similar lord of the rings what does that have to do with what does have with, to do with women anything? and men and and their roles in society because and equality star wars lord of the rings the classic male trilogies are archetypes of ideal men in society or at least as society has put them whereas barbie is trying to redefine or at least take stab at what society thinks ideal women should look like it kind of makes a mess of the message but whatever you can there's a claim there so if if barbie can do that and be the a milestone or benchmark of what men should be then men should be able to hold that same stand <coughs> against women with their ideological movies they Evan? just said that um the name barbie and ken have shot up to the top of the baby names list you're kidding no okay i'm sorry barbie is a terrible name. it so is it, it may sound like a barbara's movie. pretty barbara <laughs> Uh, would you wear a shirt that says I'm Kenuff? Hell yeah. Kenuff? Hell yeah. No. Okay. I, I would buy that jacket if it wasn't such an ugly tie-dye. Oh, no. No, I haven't bought it for you. Oh, but I did buy you a shirt. What? I bought me a shirt, but then I realized it, it's from Nasty Gal, so don't oh, get scared, because okay. that's a no. woman's, yeah. but when you see it, you'll go, and it's it's big enough and small enough for you. Okay. It's a men's fit shirt. Okay. And it fits you more than it fits me, so I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the following shirt. <laughs> wow. That fits. Oh. <laughs> I, don't know about do the I don't know about the color, but the text. The color is cool. I like it. Okay. No, that's not an Eric color. Do you like it, or do you want me to wear it to bed? Uh, Be honest. I don't care. I don't think I will wear it. You... But it's this the, is it's your the color, isn't it? Is it the color? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. That's I, not I Eric's color. I, I would look absolutely. Okay. I'll put it on and you can see. Okay. But was I right on about the, the what it said? I am a ray of. You've said something. that many times. I, yes. And I'm a fucking delight. Oh my God. Anyway. What I'm, a fucking okay. delight. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> now some music for Eric's host chat. Why not? <clears throat> Let's get yours pumping. Oh, yeah. Okay, not the great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, yeah. We only got two songs on Woo! here, so. I'll put more on there. So, during my, um, uh, what do I want to call it? My, um, is this about rehab? Oh, from your knee? Yes. Your knee uh, journey. Yes. From it being going one way and your leg going the other way. Correct. I watched. Swollen to. A okay. lot of TV. Because you had days off because the doctor said don't walk on it. Uh, correct. So. How many do you think, how many shows and movies together do you think you watched number wise? Oh my. I what do you think? can't even tell you. Probably 15 movies. It just, you had to take the days off, right? <clears throat> Oof, Two right. of them, yeah. yeah. Now, are these movies that you have seen before or have never seen? Some of them I've seen before. Like um, one night I... So what would happen is when I was on the tramadol, I would sleep all day and then I'd be up Oh, all night. Yeah. Well, for the most part. So just depending. And um, But I was, it was glorious because I think it was Hulu or Prime just added... Death Becomes Her, and 9 to 5. Oh, he loves Great. those kind of movies. I, he loves those kind of movies. Let me throw in there, I just started watching Game of Thrones because I have HBO Max. Uh, I've only seen the first episode. What do you think? <clears throat> um, is it anything other than just porn? Like, it's literally just porn. Oh, it gets less... <laughs> It, there's a lot of that. There yes, was like four full nude sex scenes in the first episode. I was like, I get it's HBO, but like, holy, like it's then, too much. Then it starts being sprinkled. Okay, it's just like it's a lot. Yeah, look, don't. I love is I love nudity as much as the next guy, but I'm like, dude, like this is like just pointless. Don't even try then the idol. Oh wow, on HBO. I, I that's won't. like porn, I, full on porn. I don't mind nudity, but shocking nudity doesn't work for me because yeah. like it's just weird. Well, anyway, keep well, continue. Keep watching it. I will. Yeah, oh, okay, I, good. The story's great. I started watching the other night The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart. I saw that on, it's on it's Amazon? It's on Prime. Okay, I mm -hmm. saw the ad for that. It is with Sigourney Weaver, uh -huh. and it is so good. Drama, uh, suspense, It's um, kind sad. of a suspense. Yeah. Okay, it's I like it. It's a little rough in the beginning. You have to get through it because there's some child abuse and stuff that goes on. 
but it doesn't last long. Okay. And it's just the first episode, so it, but it does lay the foundation for the show. So it's not like something that you want to skip. Okay. Because it, and it's not graphic. Okay. So I will say that, but it is very good. What else? Um, I watched uh, the rest of Ted Lasso. Oh, okay. So you're all caught up in yes, Ted Lasso. Yes, and I love Ted Lasso. Um, I watched, oh my gosh, I watched the last installment of, uh, and then, and that's all there is or whatever. Oh the God, Sex the, and the City. Sex and City thing. I have to no, say, thank you. the last episode that I, I can't believe the, you still pushed through on that because <clears throat> you complained thought, about it two weeks ago. I know. And I thought it has to get better. So Miranda and Che, that storyline is over. Thank God. That was rough. But n- now that Aiden's back in the picture, it's gotten better. What was the mo- what was your favorite thing that you watched in those four days? Oh, my gosh. You have to pick one favorite uh, thing. Probably gunpowder milkshake because it was just mind like. And this is again, what about? Female assassins. Okay. So like, and it was, was like Charlie's Angels basically. Yeah, it was like Atomic Kill Blonde. Bill um, with a female cast. And uh, what's his name is in it? Um, oh, it'll, it'll, he's a character actor and he's in every, he's so good. Um, I'll, Evan I'll, and I started watching a show called Fatal. Paul Giamatti is in it. Did you see Fatal oh. or Fatal? Yes. It is it's awful. the cheesiest thing you've It's ever like seen. a lifetime movie, and it's got Hillary Swank in it. I know, and she's which so is, good. Yeah. Okay, I'm popular. I don't like Hillary Swank that much. Oh, I gosh. do. I love Hillary Swank. Uh, boys don't, don't she... cry, pretty yeah. baby. Yeah. Come on. Million Dollar, million baby. dollar baby. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Baby was Brooke Shields. Okay, she oh, was good, Million Dollar Baby. Looked, I would have watched the wrong movie. I was like, Kevin, <laughs> Million Dollar Baby, that's yeah. right. That one's good, but I just don't think she's that great. Oh, I God. love also, Hillary Swank. She's not that pretty. Oh, she, in this, she's 49 years yeah. old, yeah. by the way. I had to look up her she age. She looks great. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Her face is weird. Well, she's got, she's got a very angular face, so she's got a very- she looks it's, great in It's this. kind of bull, bulldoggy, it, masculine it's, to me. It, she's got a very, very masculine features, but she's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. She, I think so. I think it yeah. works in Million Dollar Baby a lot, and she and, is very good. She's not a bad actress. I just don't really enjoy the stuff she does. And that body on her is- ridiculous i know True. she just had twins i know Wait, how old is she she's 49 she had twins she's at had 48 twins? Jeez, good for her i know she's like spectacular but anyway so we watched we started watching that and we went eh. yeah it's i started we- watching um i started watching a movie called a night at chippendales or a show and i couldn't get i think it was on hulu i could not get is it a documentary no it's kind of a mystery drama it, i turned it off halfway through the first episode oh, i didn't like it and i started watching poisonous about there are food oh yes supply, on netflix how bad our food supply yeah. is yeah. that is fascinating I, it's nothing like a, the the documentary that told you what's in food right no this tells you about e coli remember oh, when jack yeah. in the box and began like in the 70s or 80s yes. and then and then now how it's all leafy greens that are yes. now and why it's kind of it's really interesting. Yeah. Anyway, so that's your host chat. Yes. That was my host chat. And now we're going to chat about a man that we love a Jay lot. Wurzler. And we're very, we respect him a whole lot for what do. he does. He's he amazing. is amazing. Jay Wurzler, Capital Growth Inc. He's a certified financial planner. He is a CFP. He is a certified financial. No. Di- a certified divorce financial analyst. CDFA. And so that means... That's the guy you want to see when you want to divide assets mm-hmm. properly and, uh, you know, put them in the right places. Yeah. And he really does focus on your money and you having money in the years when you want to just chill and stop working and live a good life. He wants you to live a good life retired. So he's yes. going to help you. He <clears throat> let him manage your money. He's made millions for people. He's been doing it for 30, I'm saying 36 years. It says 35, but I think it's been a year since then. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. You can get a hold of him by calling him. You can. Yeah. It's 858-552-6960. It's the only phone number that I know. <laughs> I know. I know. What Honestly, other phone number do you know? Except I, for the one growing up. Do you remember your growing up yes, phone? Yes, I do. What? Uh, it was, 
Uh, my first cell phone number? No, the or? phone number you had when you were little. Oh, uh, yes. 248-4516. 279-1556. Thank you. You're okay, welcome. anyway. And uh, Jay also has an um, email, and you are free to email him any questions you have. You can. It's J-A-Y-W at capitalgrowthinc.com. And Laura's favorite thing to check out is his website, H-T-T-P. Laura, do you not know his website? Colon. It's kind of embarrassing. Forward slash forward slash www.capitalgrowthinc.com. Dang, you got it right that time. He did? Thank you. Wow. You only have to tell me, colon, you only slash, have to tell me a handful of times. Oh, my God. I hope, I'm I hope this doesn't <laughs> happen. Sure oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. oh, oh thank bye. you so much. Oh, wait. We have to talk about skedaddle, yes, too. Yes, we do. Okay. And remind me. I about your... Okay. No. I'll, remember, I'll, I'll remind you. Okay. Um, okay. This is... Uh, I'm emceeing this, you guys. We want you to mark September 9th, Saturday, on your calendar because we are going to be walking for a great cause. The 7th Annual Skedaddle for Research happens at Crown Point at 9 p.m. I will be the MC. Opening ceremonies are at 8.30 a.m. Register by August 18th to guarantee that you get this year's t-shirt. SCAD, or Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection, is a little-known cause of a heart attack. Most patients are young, healthy, and active women who do not have a typical risk factor of heart disease. SCAD is the number one cause of heart attacks in women under the age of 50. This is very important. So go to our website, lauracaneafterdark.com to register. Everybody gets a medal. It's going to be so much fun. lauracaneafterdark.com. Look for the link. Come out and walk with us. It's going to be so fun. Really, really fun. Okay. You, before we were talking about uh, Capital Growth Inc. and Skedaddle, yes, you were it, like, oh my God. Wha-. Yes, when we were talking about Capital Growth Inc., uh-huh. so for some reason, it sparked a conversation that I had with a friend of mine who works for the IRS. Is this going to make me angry? It made me angry. Oh. Are we going to get audited? No. So do you know what, oh, no. what, what low income is considered? And specific to this region or nationwide? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nationwide. Uh, I think it's under 20. $75,000 a year is considered low income. Nationwide? No way. No, it's not. Not nationwide. No, 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 no. In in, in California. California. Yeah, oh, in California. That's why. I, 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 <laughs> Sorry. I, I, know. I, I thought I was thinking yeah. statewide. Yeah, under not seven, nationwide. Under Sorry. 70K is considered um, low income. 75000 is considered low income. I think standard cost of living like requires 110k salary, something like that. I mean, At least, that yeah. is insane. I know. But if you make that um, anything seventy five thousand dollars or less, you can go to an app called IRS Two Go. So IRS the number two. And if you go. make less than that, if you make seventy five thousand dollars or under that, okay, and they will do your taxes for free. Mm, oh, I don't trust that. It's it, it well, actually here, is. Give me that. Let's just saying. Don't trust the government to decide how much money to give back to you. Well, they're 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 um, people that have worked for the IRS, or they are tax people that have retired or whatever, and do it, and still want to do it. It's cool. So, so it's, it, it's through the IRS. Though. It is through the IRS. Okay. Yes. IRS sponsored. Yes. So it is IRS to go, and it's an app that you can download. It's free. And um, you can have your taxes done for free. So, you know, I don't, taxes are expensive to have done. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I like TurboTax though. It's easy. Yeah. I had a horrible thing with TurboTax and I would never do it again. I I just let somebody do it for me. I I feel like Eric is, he has so many misfortunes. They're so random. I feel like he must be the cause of them. It is technical. Yes. And he is. Yes. Okay. (laughs) Most definitely. But mine was an actual... There was a glitch in in the when, matrix when I did or they, it, or they just told him that because they didn't want to find a way to explain Probably. to him how he messed up. But I was audited <laughs> three years in a row because of it. Oh no! Uh-huh. Because you used turbo. Because I used TurboTax. Well, allegedly. Let's so not, no, what let's it, not get a. You allegedly used TurboTax. I mean, no, I he did, got yeah. whatever. Being audited is not. But well, I whatever. will say this. I don't know. I don't know. It's I a will scary say this. Word. I was told by TurboTax that it was an error. Okay. And in the software, and then they would not take any responsibility for it. 
Well, it wasn't actually. Was so. this a phone call? It was a phone call. Of course. Of course it yes, was. Of course yeah. it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now. Anyways. Um. Okay, we did. Okay, we did everything. Now I told you guys. I said. Wait, you didn't. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry. Never mind. Yeah. Keep going. We're good. Oh, anything new on Keanu? Anything you want to say? Anything that is new other than you talked to him, you saw him at a stoplight, you took his picture out of a car window, you talked to him for maybe three minutes, and you've since been in contact with him. Mm -hmm. This is what we know. Get Keanu by my birthday. Is there anything else you want to say at this time? No. Ah, damn it. Any questions you have, Brian? That not you didn't that, have? Not that he'll answer. Just tell Keanu my birthday's coming up, and he can surprise us for my birthday. I will do that. When's your birthday again? As of the release of this episode, it'll be yesterday. Oh. oh tomorrow. No. Um, wait. Friday. No. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be Wednesday. It's a little soon. Wow. So get them. <laughs> get them by, get them by happy phone, so no, belated wait, wait, birthday, wait, wait, Brian. I gotta put this in get him reminders. by tomorrow, <laughs> and we'll do a we'll do a weird <laughs> third episode. Why are you yeah. springing a, a, that yeah. on us now? I didn't even I make a cake. Damn it, Brian. I just want to make you feel a little bad. Damn it. Okay, Dude. Brian. <laughs> this is how much my Eight. quote unquote parents love me. <laughs> I know. So much. I know. It's the ninth. His birthday is on the ninth. Okay, so I, I'm I'm putting it in my phone for 10 a.m. I'm Anyways. gonna I'm gonna send you a text message. Oh God, damn. I'm blocking Laura's number preemptively. <laughs> Don't. I'm gonna send you a happy birthday. Today. Thank you. Eric. I You're appreciate welcome. that. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so I told you guys to come up with. We're gonna play a game called Two Truths and a Lie. Mm -hmm. Now, you had to actually come up with two things that are true about yourself mm -hmm. and one lie, and we're gonna go around the room. And we're going to read our list. And then each of us has to guess which one we think is the lie. I hope one of Eric's is he got to talk to Keanu Reeves recently. And I hope that's the truth so that we know. <laughs> I sure hope so, Brian. Yeah. I sure as hell hope so. Anyways. Because um, it better be something. I'm not kidding. Okay. Let us begin. All right. Do you want to start? Ladies first. Okay. Do we have to read all three of them or just one at a time? Yeah, it's all three. All three. Okay. Because you have to decide which one's oh, the right. lie. Yes. Okay. Number one. I went to every single one of my junior high and high school dances, backwards dances, and proms over 130 total. Your junior high had over 130 dances? I said junior high and high school. Oh, that still seems like a lot. I was picked to audition for a McDonald's Shamrock Shake national TV commercial when I was 16. An agent saw me on stage. In college, I hooked up with and carried on an intimate relationship with my 44-year-old psych professor at college. Turns out, he was married. God, I hope that one's the lie. That one's the lie. Yeah, I think so, too. Damn it, I'm not good at this freaking game. Because <laughs> I, I, like I knew about the Shamrock Shake. Yeah, I, and I feel like you wouldn't do that. Yeah. You don't think so? When I I'm young and I impressionable? Think, I think you would do pretty close, but I don't think you'd quite do that. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right. Well, thank you for um, having some res um, respect for me, I guess. Yeah. Believing in your self-respect? <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay. Go, Eric. I once ran naked through my neighborhood. Believe that. I feel like you told I, us that story. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have been to Cher's home. Okay. And I had to stick my hand in a horse's ass to retrieve a thermometer. <laughs> I know which one is the lie because you, I know he was uh, temporarily or for a short time, I should say, in vet school. Yeah. I'm going to say the Cher one is a lie. Cher's a lie. Uh, no. Which one's a lie? Uh, uh, number three, that I had to stick my hand in a horse's Wait, ass. I wonder what occasion were you at Cher's house? When was that? Uh, was she was, there? No, she was not. It was several years ago, uh, many years ago, actually. And uh, I was working in Hollywood, and I was invited to a party at Cher's house. And it turns out that Eddie Murphy had just bought her house. Oh. So he was having a party there. So you met Eddie Murphy, so though? I did. That's cool. Who but else did you meet at that party? Um, his, uh, no, he was single at the time. 
Um, oh, but I think but he the was, ladies there were oh, a plenty. Yeah. And I remember there wasn't a whole lot of furniture. There was a lot of food and a lot of, you know, uh, like a bar set up and everything, but not a lot. But it was technically, it was, had been Cher's house or just, just bought it from bought her. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That counts. Mm-hmm. That counts. Yeah. Um, the thermometer story is true, but I was there when it happened, but I was not the one that stuck my hand on the horse's butt. Good at this game. Good at this okay. game. Now let's see if Brian is good at this game. Let's see if we can okay. guess his. Um, I've never had a speeding ticket or have been pulled over ever. I think we know that about him already. Oh, fuck. Did I? Well, I don't know if that's even true. Anyways. I, think um, I, was, I, I actually had a kind of a chance run in with Post Malone one time at 3 a.m. on the Hollywood Boulevard while it was pouring rain um, for like very briefly, like a minute and a half. And I also had a news new segment about me once. I'm going to say number two is a lie. I'm going to say that as well because he did a, too much explaining. And he and usually that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Number two? Mm-hmm. The Post Malone one? Yeah. Yeah, that's not true. I did meet... <sighs> I was in Hollywood Boulevard at 3 a.m. once in the pouring rain and met someone who looked identical to Post Malone, though. <laughs> you met, just like Eric, probably met a guy that looks identical to Keanu Reeves. Guy was super nice, though. Uh, the guy that, looked, that yeah. looked like Post Malone? Walking down Hollywood Boulevard with a ball of fireball was, like, very nice. He's in concert in a few days, or just was, yeah. or let him know I met sold him out. Sold out. Post Malone? Yeah, and it's something, It's his tour is called something funny, like, if I don't see you here, I'm going to cry to her or something like that. Oh my gosh. I want to go to this so bad, but the dates that they're playing, it's very, it's a very limited run and it's in Vegas. And I wish I could go. I wish, please, 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 Amy Poehler and Tina Fey bring it to San Diego. What? They're is doing that? a comedy show together for, it's only like three yeah. or four nights and it's called yes. the Restless Leg Tour. That's going to be hysterical. Oh, my God. I love the two of them so much. So if you're listening, they probably are. She's probably going to take over SNL. Okay. I love Amy Poehler and I love Tina Fey. I don't think they're that great at like stand up. Oh, my God. Stuff. I think they are so funny together. Tina Fey, actually, I'm not a huge fan of Tina Fey. Oh, my God. Like, mean Girls? Did you like Mean Girls? Yeah, she's not that funny to me. I like Amy Poehler. Did you like the movie Mean Girls? Yeah, it's a chick movie. Did you ever see Baby Mama? What? I that like, was fun. Do I you liked, like funny movies? Yeah. Oh my God, it's hilarious. I like the Barbie movie better than Mean Girls. Okay. Boyfriend material. See? Yeah, but he's already taken Probably it. not. So he's already he's already taken it. It's the Barbie test. He, he passed the Barbie what test. What a stupid test. Well, you have to pass my Star Wars and Lord of the Rings test. So. Oh God. Oh Good. God, you are going to fail. I will fall asleep in five seconds to those movies. Oh my, my God. You know what? Star Wars passes. is too confusing. It's like no, too it's many not. names. There's no, too many things not. floating around. There's it's too many not. ships that are all flying and I everywhere. I know how you love action movies. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, because there's not a bazillion favorite. types of Barbies. That was a more, that was a, come on. You no, cannot yeah, compare. Come on. You cannot yeah. compare. Yes, I can. No, yes, I can. cannot. Yes, I can. There was only one Barbie dream house. There was a beach off. Oh, then clearly you didn't understand the message of the movie then, which means you don't, oh, you don't pass the Barbie test Oh my either. God. You know what? I'm done arguing with oh you. Oh my God. Mommy Fake and daddy feminism. are fighting again. Fake I, feminism is not feminism. Mommy and daddy I unfortunately are paid him in advance for this uh, episode of the podcast. No, I wish I hadn't done that. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> I've given and fifty cents more. Receipts. Did you did you see your <laughs> little memo when I? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, let's f- end with that. Oh God! So he, do we, you I bring bought it up on your phone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I bought food for us before the podcast because oh uh, you know it's in the writer that doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. That, but you are still some reason following. I yes. know. I, know. I don't so know good. why. Okay. Well, I, I need to, to watch the Barbie movie she again because you happy. have been the opposite of empowered. You, I know. I buy him presents. You've been disempowered. <laughs> I buy him presents. I like cater to him and stuff. I don't understand what's by, going on. By telling women the patriarchy exists, I they, know. Become more, they start just doing it. Oh my God. Okay, wait. I have to more press Barbie on this. Movie for everyone. Damn it. How do I get to it? Eric, hold on. Discard. You're trying to do Venmo? <laughs> yes. Hold She's on. No, to- here we go. Eric. No, that was a different payment. Oh, here it is. Payment between friends, 
Mm -hmm. for butt plugs. Thank you, (laughs) and thank God that I have a mine on private, so nobody sees it but me. (laughs) That is funny. No, it's not, Brian, and you know it. You just said that because you are his butt boy. That is funny. I had, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other night, and we were talking we were talking about La Jolla Cosmetics and he said that, you know, he had gone for Botox. And yes, and yes. They'd heard it on our show. And I said, yes, I'm going in September because he was talking about uh, the Carlsbad office. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, yes, I have to go up there because they're going to take um, four inches off my penis. And I said it with a totally straight face. And he's all, well, Laura has talked about that thing. And <laughs> I just started laughing i was just like oh, oh no. my god i've talked about it way too much uh, she's like they're gonna take it down to 13 inches. yeah they're gonna take it they need to take it. just a couple little snips just a couple just, it was they're hilarious. gonna reduce the it's circumference to eight inches. yeah you're right, right they need that is what okay never mind i'm not gonna tmi yeah, i know just, just put to, no. Put your hand over my mouth. Yeah, you put your hand you. over my just mouth. Just put just put the debate to rest. Eric. Just show everyone your wiener, so we can put it to bed. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. No more speculation. Anyway, one, you? Yes. Thank you. One more week is our party. Please come. We'd love to see God. your faces. Even, Laura Kane after dark dot com. You even mentioned wieners, and she goes, starts getting. All I know. Hot. And she's oh like, I know she does. I'm like, I don't oh really want God, a man. Here, I'm not. I'm not, I know. I'm not really wanting a man right now. Now I'm like all hot. I'm all flush. I know. Don't mention. And wieners, please. It's been a long time. Eric, put that All thing right. away. <laughs> um, okay. We'd love to see you there. LauraKaneAfterDark.com yes, we for all of our uh, great sponsors. Thank you so much for being part Bring of our podcast. Bring your wieners and vaginas to Moe's <laughs> oh on August 17th at I'm 6 p.m. My home. And we, who knows, maybe this time next week. For the record, I'm not doing anything outlandish at the party. What? I don't. I don't. Not expecting you to. Okay. I just want you to make sure that the equipment goes smoothly. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you put on shoes I, I or do can't any wig that thing. Either. I w- I know you by now. I know you're not the kind that would find that um, amusing at all. He would not. No, he. Just, I can't. You know, I can't imagine Eric with either is the funny part. He he's not that kind either. Oh no. I know what, both wear- of you. To, like if I said, let hey, let's put on, you guys please. Are you dressing put on up drag No. Mm-mm. No. Okay. It's just not his. I'm with the gay guy on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would dress like a guy, but I want to look super cute. Yo, I I, no one Me wants too. to see that. Nobody, not <laughs> one person wants yeah. to see that. And that's my thing. Nobody nobody would want to see me in drag. Everybody I will, would I will dress see in me. all pink with Eric, though, in support of the Barbie movie. Oh, my God. That would be cute. I, sh- I do think we should get the I Am Knuff hoodies. That'd be funny. I know. Maybe. They're just ugly, though. <laughs> Well, would you isn't, wear? Isn't that from like that insurance company? No, no it's from, it's the, Barbie from the Barbie movie. Oh. movie. Like he, I'm enough, I'm Kenuf, because it's kind of like it's Ken. It's, a, it's I'm Kenuf. I'm oh Kenuf. God, that is so. It's it's funny in the movie, but the the jacket up. the jacket's kind of hideous. I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna. That'd throw be cute up. if you wore that. So if gross. it was like if it was a different color, if it was white with like pink writing, I'd wear. I'll, it. If I, I'll try, I'll Google and see if All I can right. find you. Because the one they're selling is ugly. Okay, I'll see if I can find a cute one. Ugly. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for listening and watching our podcast. We sure appreciate it. We really, really do. And uh, I sure do appreciate you guys. I love you. I love you. I really love you as a person, Brian, producer Brian. Who? I know. I know. I know. I could, oh if I said I God. love you, if I would have said I love you, you would have like maybe puked. Blech. I know. He exactly. would have puked. Wait, exactly. I'm going to start queuing up puke nose. nose no, don't. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, love your podcast. I love you. Every minute you waste after this moment is one thing you have to reveal about your Keanu Reeves encounter. I can't wait to see you. That's one seconds. thing. You're at 30 seconds. Now that's one thing. You got after you have 30 more seconds and you have to reveal something about Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh my gosh. What is that? <laughs> 15 seconds. What? Okay. Love your podcast. There oh go. my God. Damn it. Love you, my <laughs> sweet babies. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.